Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the Avada YouTube element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. The YouTube element has just one job, and that's to let you quickly add YouTube videos into your layout. I've imported the Barbershop pre-built here, and I'm going to add a YouTube video to the bottom of this page. I've added a new column and some titles, and I'm ready to add the YouTube element. When I add the element, the blank YouTube thumbnail appears on the screen, and in the element options we can see there is a general tab and an extras tab. The first option on the general tab is the video ID or URL. This determines the video shown, and here you just use the last part of the URL, as shown in the description. I'll just paste my video ID in here. The next option is alignment. There are the usual four alignment options of text flow, left, right and centre. I'm going to set this one to centre. Then comes dimensions. I want this video to fill the full column. The dimensions assume a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, so if you only enter the width or height, that's what it will display as. It's easy to check the site width here in the global options, and under the layout tab, we can see it's 1140 pixels. So I'll just go back to my element options, and add 1140 in the dimensions width. I'll just leave the height empty, as this is a 16 to 9 video. The next two options allow you to set a start and end time for the video, so the video could perhaps start at 30 seconds in, and end perhaps at 3 minutes. It's a bit like editing the video. There is also an autoplay option, as well as mute video and loop video options, and a player controls option. It all depends on what you want your video to do. Here I will leave autoplay, mute and loop on no, but I will leave the player controls on yes. Under this is an additional API parameter option if you want to add any YouTube API parameters. Then there is a title attribute option. As the description explains, this allows you to set the title attribute for the iframe embed of your video. Leave empty to use the default value of YouTube Video Player, with a number at the end. Under this is the Video Facade option. Here it's set to default, which in this case is on. This enables the video facade in order to load the video player only when the video is played. Under this is the thumbnail size. Auto is the default. You can choose from any of the YouTube standard sizes, but not all sizes are available for every video. Under this is a margin option for the element as a whole. Finally, there is the usual element visibility option, which allows you to show or hide the element on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID options for further customization with custom CSS. There's also the extras tab, with the one option of structured data, which enables structured data for better SEO. Ok, that's it. Simple and effective, this is a very easy way to add YouTube content to your site. Ok, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.